A, a lot of people and a lot of friends that know that I went through Arch Grants do ask me about it. How it was, was it worth it? Was it a go to St. Louis and then get out? This was one of the best decisions that we could have made for the company was, was moving to St. Louis. I've lived, you know, in all different corners of the world and St. Louis is really special. Every little nook has its own personality and the city itself is just timeless. My company Wonder Minto was founded in London. Um, I still have a team of about seven people out there at the moment and it was always my vision to open up our U.S. headquarters out of the Midwest. I'm originally from St. Louis and I'm a St. Louis boy born and bred. So to be able to build something here, I can actually see the change happening in the community. Eateria is an all-in-one marketing platform for restaurants, food and hospitality businesses that helps them to build local loyal customers and to keep them coming back. When I talk to people that I, I was going to leave Chicago after so many years there, they look at me and go, are you crazy? What is the bigger vision beyond just saying, hey, I'm going to make money? How can you impact people's life? How can you help to write the story of a city and be part of that? Those are bigger visions that some of us have, and that is what I thought about. And they have a strong vision and conviction about something. What it does for you is also propels you to do the same. Let's go and do something great. It was purely our trance that, that brought me here. We got acquired by this company up in Canada. I had to come back to the States, and I, I was gonna stay with the company. I could work remotely, I could live anywhere. I fell in love with St. Louis the first time around and could go anywhere, and I chose to come here. I was part of the first Arch Grants class, which was really exciting. I'm the founder of a company called Material Mix. It's an online commodities platform for industrial scrap traders. Arch Grants pulled from all over the world, and it was my first exposure to business owners from you know across the globe, and just to hear their story and um, and work with them, you know, in in the T-Rex space, it was very exciting. There's a lot going on. Our first product, Wonder Wolf, is a Fitbit for dogs. It's a little bow tie that attaches to your dog's collar and tracks all of their activity based on their size, breed, and age. It's a way to stay connected to them even when you're apart. There's such an energy here of creativity and knowing that I can go around the corner and bounce an idea off another startup and um, grow those kind of contacts and connections where we really want to support each other. I believe that's something Arch Grants absolutely offers as well, which is a massive asset for my company. What Code Red does is we provide teacher resources and training so that they can successfully train students for careers in the tech field. Uh, after high school graduation. It provides this weird cross-section geographically, but also across the industry. By having such a wide variety of people and products and companies, it really helps to be able to see how things like a biotech firm runs, but also to be able to take things from internet companies and consumer goods companies and see like, well, how can we take what they do and how can we make ourselves better with that? It's exciting to be a part of something that's new and growing. Like it's very clear that you can have an impact. Everyone's excited that you're here. Arch Grants jump-started that. They really bridged that gap and got us to the next level. And you work with people that share your interests, it all kind of culminates and the plan is presented to you. Without them, I don't think we, we, we could have been able to achieve that next step successfully. My experience with Arch Grants so far has been an absolute dream. I can absolutely see Wonder Minto growing our U.S. headquarters here permanently, and that is my desire, that we could really be involved in the community in a big way um, and see the startup scene here in St. Louis just boom. <laughs> I have plans to build, to build exciting things. I have plans to be someone who can add value to other people's lives. Because at the end of the day, when our time is up, we are judged by how you add value to other people's lives. I mean, it's, it's a central building block to trying to build out this community. I don't think we would have seen so much growth over the past two to three years, um, you know, in the St. Louis tech space, and St. Louis in general, without our trans being there. That like attitude and mentality of kind of once you're successful, you kind of give back to the next generation. Jobs are being made, innovation is happening, new products and services are being invented, wealth is generated, it's this snowball, and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It's, it's an amazing cycle.